Right, gents. Um, first of all, to address the situation, three of our lads played at Lidtown today. Yeah, it's very disappointing. Uh, but what I would say is this is an internal uh, matter and I know that the club will be dealing with it um, going forward and I'm sure they'll share a statement at the right time. But, you know, whilst that's a negative, I thought that, you know, the three young lads that come on and, you know, did Stano and the academy really well. So th that was a positive. Right, yeah. Um, on to today's game. Thoughts on the performance? <laughs> Hello, mate. Um, my thoughts, do, do you know what? My thoughts on today's performance were the lads did well. With everything going on, um, focusing on the game, uh, Bogner played the right way. That, and I've got to say, I was actually really impressed by the way they played in the first half. It was a really good contest for the last game of the season. I thought we matched them. I think it could have yeah, easily mate. gone either way. Um, they've cleared a couple off the line. We've hit the post a couple of times. Just so happens the day that I think Fortune went with them. And I'm not saying that they were lucky to get their goals. I just think it could have easily been a draw today. I thought it was a good game. Yeah, um, obviously it was nothing really riding up from either side, but I didn't think it was the worst game in the world. No, I've got to say the first 25 minutes, half an hour, we were saying to us, God, this is the end of season game, both not playing for anything. And it, I thought it was a really, really good game. And it was it was a bit end to end, really. I thought we counted them and they counted us. And it looked like there was going to be a goal at the end of it. Ultimately, they got one and we didn't. And I think that's a little bit of story of our season, really. We haven't really scored at the at, uh, really important times in the game. Yeah, score, scored right at the end of, of both halves. Yeah, they did. And I mean, the, the second one, amazingly enough, is that we are pushing to try and get the goal to make it even. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that was a little bit fortunate with it. I mean, Scott's there, ricochets off him and then ricochets off the next bloke. Ricochets, spills to the next bloke who taps it in. Uh, as where the other way, you've got Greenies put a great ball in. I don't know how the lad hasn't scored an own goal. It's fantastic defending. Ira's done the right thing, isolated the full-back, beat him, hit a shot, bloke gets a toe to it, keep was nowhere near it. It's one of those things. I mean, um, the, the lads had a right go today. They played in the right spirit. As Mev's already said earlier, the youngsters came in and they did us proud. They did Stano proud. I mean, he works from day in, day out. They came in, they gave their all. And it, it for, for me, that was a perfect way to end the season. Not result-wise, but the lads' effort makes me happy, to be honest. Yeah, it was, um, especially in the circumstances. Even in the circumstances, um, it, was, it was good to see three lads get get some minutes out of it though. Yeah, like I said, it's a positive. You know, to be fair, Denny, when he come on, he's this sort of player where he actually always has chances around him. You know, and that's a, you know, he's, he's a bit, maybe a bit like his dad. Maybe, <laughs> maybe his dad might tell him he would have scored a couple of them. But no, he, you know, he always seems to have chances. Brad come on, and 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 Jake started the game. So, uh, there was positives uh, to, to the game today. Maybe fair to say that does sum up our season, though, that we've not we're not taking the chances when we wanted and been punished when at the at the other end. Yeah, I, I, you know, all year we've seen it. We've created loads and loads of chances. Is it unlucky at times? Sometimes it is. Um, we we definitely could have scored a few more goals this season. But I'd just like to go back to the kids. Um, the boys that are out there today, I mean, I spoke to them at the end. I said, look, well done, that's good. I mean, you've earned your minutes here today um, through good performances through the season. And it's trying to get the kids up to the speed of the game. As I think Mev just said there, Denty's had a great touch. At this level, it's touch hit. At the level they're at, it's touch, touch, where's the keeper, place it. And it was quite refreshing to speak to the young lads and they're well aware of the difference in the tempo and decision-making and it'll only make them better players, whether it's 10 minutes, 45 minutes or 90, you know, so that's really good. Um, maybe that's a, it's a, bit, it's a big pre-season for them lads to come in and, and, and show maybe what they've got and get a lot of football against, against whatever level of opposition we play in pre-season. Yeah, it's going to be a really big pre-season because obviously there's going to be changes and, uh, you know, we're going to see some new faces and, and the youngsters are going to come in and have a full pre-season with us and know what we expect and, uh, you know, I think it's a really exciting time. I know that the season's just just finished, but we, you know, we're we're looking forward to uh, well have a rest first, but we will look forward to pre-season and working hard with the players. Um, Matt Newman come on today for 45 minutes. Um, fair play to him for coming down here, and um, even when he's when he's injured, and and what a great servant he's been for the club. Yeah, there's not enough superlatives to say about Matt. To be honest, what what a gentleman, uh, what a man, uh, great servant. Very, very good player as well. I mean, at centre back when he came back from Hive, I just thought that, that season he the devil. <laughs> that season he breezed it. And um, you know, whenever that, whenever you're in need, uh, despite what kind of physical shape he's in, he'll always throw his uh, name in the out. No, he's been brilliant for us, and uh, we thank him for that.
and um, obviously going into the pre-season then, um, I suppose, suppose you, you boys have got, got a lot of hard work ahead of you. Like I said, there is a lot of hard work going forward, but as I said, this, this football club and Edgy and myself, we want to push on. We know, to be fair, it hasn't ended how we wanted. Um, we don't want to have games that's not worth anything at the end of the season. Next, next year, we hope to be different and, and, and really pushing forward. And I'm sure with the, uh, you know, the, the right faces, coming in and, and, and the mix of maybe a few of the others that are here, that we'll be stronger next year. And, that, and that's the hope and we'll work really hard to achieve that. Obviously, we've got an got a, a evening with you lads and, and then a presentation even next week. So we look forward to seeing you then. Cheers, mate. Cheers. No problem. Cheers, Dave. All right, Matt. Um, that's an end to it after, after 10 years at the football club. Yeah, here a long time. Uh, really enjoyed myself. Uh, signed at 25 and leaving at 35. So I've, I've given a lot of my career here so it's nice I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed every minute I've said uh, on Twitter and I've said to um, everyone around the club I've always felt welcome I've I've always had good positive things to say about the club and I've, I think I've been responsible for quite a few players coming in because I'm a good I'm an advocate for the club so yeah I'm going to miss it but I think for where I am at the minute it's a good time to move on um, Obviously you've changed a lot as a player uh, during that time yeah, yeah. Well, I could run when I was twenty-five. Is that is that what you're getting at? <laughs> well, um, I meant more like from midfield to centre half, and I finished off in midfield again. Funnily enough. Yeah, strange, isn't it? It's gone full circle. Um, yeah, I changed. I mean, football's changed. I was probably more of a ball player when football was more physical, and now it's turned the other way, and I'm more of a physical player. And now it's a ball playing game. So uh, I think I've done it the wrong, wrong way round. But no, yeah. I, listen, I play anywhere just to get on the pitch. As you get older, you realise. Time is uh, limited and games are limited, so just to get anywhere like today, just groin's no good, but 45 minutes done me, done me good. It's a good way to say goodbye, apart from losing. Yeah, um, um, as, um, as much as you've changed, the, the football club has changed a lot in that time as well. Yeah, yeah, it's kicked on. I think when I first signed, I think it was the, the back end of the, the C of A, the debt thing, um, and it, that it wasn't in a great state in the Ryman South, not, not a lot of fans, and and where we are today, I think the season's been topsy-turvy. Everyone knows that. But where we are as a club, um, we're, way, we're way ahead of where we were when I signed. And I think a lot of that goes... I think, as long and short of it is, a lot of it goes down to Cugs. And I'll give you a lot of stick, mate. But I think you've brought in... You've done really well coming in. And Yeah, I ain't going to miss you uh, asking every new signing how old they think I am. <laughs> yeah, but listen, I'll give you a lot of stick. But credit where it's due, mate. I think you've done brilliant since you come in. And it's... It, like all the digital side you do for the club, it, it's brought the younger generation in. And even on Saturday, I was walking around the club and I spoke to maybe 20 kids that, that knew my name through through the digital side because I've not seen them before. And it's it's good. It's it... Obviously, it's made seasons maybe not what we wanted from it, certainly from where, where we were at the start. Um, but is it fair to say it's, it's one bad season after, after an awful lot of good ones? And, and sometimes that's you, you can't have a good season every season. Yeah, I mean, listen. That makes sense. The long and short of it is the this club, since I've been here, has had very little transition periods because of the core group of players, Cugs, um, and it's just been sort of flowing and in dribs and drabs. We've got people in this year. We've got six new signings start of the year. That takes time to bed in. As we started to bed in, obviously the chairman left. Cugs goes upstairs. Two new managers. So listen, it's been a it's been a transitional period in every sense at the club. And during this transitional period to finish, what, 10... Well, listen, last three games, whatever, we had nothing to play for, played, changed things around. Listen, it's not a bad season. Let's, let's have it right. If we had asked this 10 years ago, when you had signed where you want to be in 10 years in a transitional period, snapped your hand off. The club's in a good place now. New sponsor. Cugs upstairs. You've got two great managers, two proper footballing gents. Listen, I, I, I can safely say I leave the club in a better place than when I found it. So... I'm happy with that. Fair, uh, fair play to you, mate. You're moving on to bigger, bigger and better things, and and moving into a new, new stage of your career. Yeah, I wouldn't say bigger and better things. It's just a different. It's a it's a project that I'm I'm involved in. It's no secret that um, the chairman of Faversham is a very close person to me in business and personally, um, and he's got a project down there, and I, I wanted to be part of it. So it's um, listen. If it wasn't for that situation, I've said to Mev and Edgy, I think they've been amazing since they've come in if it wasn't for that situation very unique situation with 
Gary, the chairman of Faversham, who I who I hold in such high regard, I wouldn't have gone anywhere, and I would have played for folks until they didn't want me anymore. So, um, it's just it's just the right time for me to go. I think the the club need a, a new lease of life as well in terms of maybe a core group of players. We're all getting old. Let's, let's be honest. We need some more legs in there. I think that's apparent this year. And it'll be good for the club to get get a new fresh outlook on everything. And uh, just to ask you some of your, some of your favourite memories. Obviously, winning the league, the team night out after winning the league, <laughs> one, one Frankie Chapel being locked out of the hotel room for six hours is probably my personal favourite <laughs> in one one full turnkey night. Um, I think the Eastleigh games really enjoyed the crowd down there. Thought it was a good buzz. Um, this year, Dulwich away really enjoyed winning there. Just, just, you know what this? I, I, the one regret I've got, I think, leaving the club is we lost too many finals. I think I've lost a couple of Kent Cup finals, two playoff finals in my time. So that is one thing that I would say, um, lost too many finals. But my overall highlight is definitely winning the league that year with by record points. Yeah, unfortunately that was before my time, so I didn't get didn't get to see you boys at the time. But um, I, I, it was a good year. <laughs> it was a good year, it was an even better night. And uh, once the camera goes off, I'll fill you in the bar about exactly what went on. Let's turn it off then. <laughs>